I'm John White. Today we're going to be talking about some garden uh, problems that we've run across and one of them is with grapes. Uh, there is a little insect that's active right now in the uh, at least the southern part of the state and that's the western grape leaf skeletonizer. And the way you find this little critter is by looking for evidence of leaves that are beginning to um, uh, lose their green so they just become basically a skeleton or just what is left is basically the veins of the leaf and a lot of the green foliage has disappeared so to speak almost overnight when you flip the the leaf over a lot of times you'll find the the little caterpillars on the underside of the leaf they're yellow with kind of a blue stripe across them uh, usually less than half an inch in length and uh, they're usually in fairly large numbers so they're kind of congregations of them and they just strip a leaf. Uh, the adult is a little blue-black uh, moth that flies around and lays its eggs so it can be kind of periodic or scattered as far as where the damage shows up on the plant but as the eggs begin to hatch and the populations begin to grow they they are pretty heavy feeders and they will work their way across a vine and as they uh, start working on the vine a lot of times within just a few days they can actually strip a vine uh, most of its green foliage so it is an insect that you want to get under control before it does a lot of damage uh, most of the uh, insecticides do a good job on it there's several of them they're labeled for western grape leaf skeletonizer uh, if you can catch them early enough a lot of times just mechanically pulling the the leaf off that has the the worms on it and just uh, disposing of that leaf if you can catch them early enough, that's really one of the easy ways to control it. But if it's really hit the vine, you may need to come in and use an insecticide on it. So uh, there are a couple different ways of approaching, but that is Western grape leaf skeletonizer. Very common insect problem on grapes. So we want to be on the lookout for that. Now let's go take a look at some other problems that we have here in the garden. One of the other things we're seeing in gardens right now, especially in the southern part of the state with it being kind of hot and dry, is spider mites. And uh, beans are notorious for having spider mite problems. We also see it on uh, maybe tomatoes and, and some other plants. But what we want to look for is what we call a stippling of the leaf. And you can see these leaves here, how they've almost turned white. And that's because the spider mite has a sucking mouth part. And every time he goes to feed on the leaf, he pulls out the green uh, chlorophyll tissue and, and leaves a, a white stipule. And if all those stipules come together, the leaf basically turns white because it's lost all the chlorophyll in it. And so this is a leaf that is heavily infested with spider mites. If you look on the underside of the leaf, you can see a little bit of the characteristic webbing. And if you take it and bang it out on a piece of white paper, uh, you can knock some spider mites off and find them. Um, with our hot dry weather this is a problem so uh, trying to build up some moisture spraying with plain water uh, soap and water mixes uh, will help to try and keep the spider mites down and keep the leaves but if the leaves go into a, a real severe chlorotic um, look where they've lost most of the color that is going to affect the plant as far as its production so we do not want that to uh, happen to this extent so we want to get it under control before this happens also they will attack the the beans themselves so some of these small beans the mites are hitting also and taking the green out so again you aren't going to have as flavorful a crop and probably as large a production as you should so again spider mites we do want to get under control there are some uh, insecticides that can be used but I do want to give you caution to make sure that you follow the harvest schedule so that you aren't uh, spraying insecticide at the same time that you're needing to harvest so you want to watch those intervals real close but again soap and water does a pretty good job on controlling this so keep your eye out for spider mites not only on vegetables but a lot of other plants in your garden another problem we get a lot of calls on and this is kind of statewide and this is the little half circle cuts out of leaves and this is on rows and this is one of the uh, most predominant plants that we find this problem on, but you can also find it on some of the ornamental pears and, and some of your ornamental shrubbery around the yard. And this is caused by a leaf cutter bee. And the leaf cutter bee is a beneficial insect. It's a good pollinating insect, about the size of a housefly. Uh, we'll come in and cut that little semicircular piece out. It takes it uh, to its nest where it makes um, 
a larger enlargement of the nest where it can go ahead and lay its eggs and, and develop its young. So it really doesn't eat the foliage, it just uses it for nesting purposes. So insecticides do not work good. So basic tip here is just you know what it is, let it go. It's next to impossible to try and kill this insect. And since it's a beneficial pollinating insect, there's not really a need, uh, reason to kill it. So, um, but just so you can recognize what the problem is, it doesn't kill the plant. So there's not really a need to control it. But again, that's the leaf cutter bee.